And primary and secondary schools in Abia State will reopen on Monday, 28th September 2020 for the completion of the third term of 2019 and 2020 academic session with one week of revision classes. This was announced in a statement signed by the State Commissioner for Information, John Okeyi, after the State Executive Council meeting held at the Banquet Hall of the Government House in Umahia. It is also the decision of the state government that a third term promotion examination, which is expected to start from Monday the 5th of October to Friday the 16th of October 2020, will be used to assess pupils and students based on the tutorial from first and second term, as well as radio and television classroom program. According to the government, the first term of 2020-2021 session for primary and secondary schools in the state will start on the 26th of October. 2020 as teachers will go on one week break to enable them mark and compute promotional examination results. To speak on the school reopening in Abia State, we have uh, the Commissioner for Information of that state, John Okeyi. Thank you, Commissioner, for being with us this afternoon. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, does the decision to resume uh, schools presume that the state has fully flattened the curve of COVID-19? Well, um, not necessarily that, but of course you need to understand that um, this whole thing is about balancing lives and livelihood. Um, we cannot allow this uh, virus to perpetually paralyze everything about us, stop the next generation from getting proper education. But um, in terms of numbers, yes, we are not doing badly. We have about... Um, 886 confirmed cases in Abia State, with uh, 846 discharged already, uh, 31 still in uh, management. But um, if you look at uh, the numbers of recent, particularly given that Abia is a high testing state, in August 2020, we conducted the highest number of tests. I'm sure that by the time the report for September is released, you will find that Abia is also one of the high testing states. And if the numbers we are seeing is anything to go by, then I can only say that God is helping us. Yeah. Having said that, the decision is born out of the need to ensure that our children don't uh, literally rot at home. And uh, what we have done in the case of Abia is to provide necessary resources to as much as possible ensure that... Um, we do not end up with uh, infections within our school system. Mm. Um, Felicity, I'm happy to inform you that um, so far we've not received any report of infection of any school charge as a result of uh, the return of the exit classes to write the examinations. All right, let's talk about the primary schools uh, particularly. What are some of the uh, protocols put in place for their safety? Yeah, number one, um, first we said that um, right from the gate of entry, uh, there will be washing, hand washing materials provided by the government. Of course, we have uh, um, thermometers to check their temperatures. Every uh, school has a sick bay, whether primary or secondary. And uh, those were provided before the exit classes through their examinations, and they are still there. All the children will be provided with hand sanitizers. And uh, we are also specifically ensuring that the seating arrangement changes uh, to reflect the signs of the times. We have uh, the exit classes that have gone, so we have more space in our school. And uh, finally, we are going to continue to ensure that um, those students don't engage in any form of gathering, whether for morning prayers. We believe that the prayers can be held in their classes. <laughs> we are also concerned about uh, gathering for the purposes of engagement in games and sports. And we have encouraged parents to make sure that they give their children food from home because we are not going to allow food sellers uh, within our school environment. All right. We also understand that the states use radio and television to reach pupils and students. How, how did the government assess the impact, especially considering that most areas don't have ele electricity? Would it be fair to use lessons from this platform as part of assessment for them during the examination? 
Yes, we were particularly concerned about uh, children in rural Labia. And uh, aside from the fact that uh, donations were made of um, transistor radio, we also believe that you don't necessarily need electricity to be able to afford a battery of about uh, 100 naira to fix into your transistor radio uh, that cost you probably about uh, 700 to 1,000 naira in Abia states, which is how much it takes to buy. So we appeal to parents that uh, they can make that expenditure before now. We believe that uh, most, if not all parents, would have been able to afford their transistor radio. We measured the response coming from the children in terms of the test set for them. And uh, we are going to assess the children uh, for the third time based partly on what they learned from that uh, radio TV classroom program. And of course, what they learned in the first and second term mm -hmm. of their stay. Right. We are very confident uh, that um, our children participated very well with the radio classroom program and even children from neighboring states continue to confirm that uh, they benefited from that program. Right. So wow. we'll assess that. What we don't want to engage in is mass uh, promotion. We don't want uh, for us to just use government fire to say all of you are promoted to the next class. We need to return the power to uh, promote back to where it belongs, which is examination and assessment. All right. While the state government has also approved the reopening of tertiary institutions, your statement alluded that the choice as to exact dates will be announced by each institution. Could you explain uh, why that is so? The schools are supposed to put in place measures to protect our children, and uh, they've given us a plan which we have approved. But now the deployment of that plan rests with them. If they are satisfied that uh, they have fully deployed the program agreed with the government, then they can come back and announce a reopening date. What uh, we are also mindful of is the fact that the circumstances of the tertiary institutions are different. For instance, those of them belonging to academic staff union of universities, they are currently on a national strike. So even if, as a government, you announce a particular date for the opening, academic activities will not resume in those institutions. So we are saying that uh, the management of institutions should look at their circumstance and on that basis make a decision on a date for resumption.